Welcome back to Inspire Thinking. As you know, we are doing a series of book synopsis, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And this book is of four parts and we have successfully completed two parts and we are entering into part three. Part three is all about how to win people to your way of thinking, how to win people to your way of thinking. And part three consists of 12 chapters. And the first chapter of part three is you can't win an argument you can't win an argument what yes dale carnegie has narrated his own experience in this chapter after world war one dale carnegie used to work as a manager to sir rose smith sir rose smith was a famous person in those days he was the only most talked person and he was rewarded from australian government by $50,000. So in this regard, they have a small party kind of thing. In that occasion, Dale Carnegie also attended. And the next person sitting to Dale Carnegie was telling a humorous story to the people. With this, he added a small quote and he mentioned this quote is from Bible. And Dale Carnegie knows this quote is not from Bible. This is a quote of Shakespeare. And Dale Carnegie got frustrated and started showing his liberty, showing his authority on this person and started proving him wrong. And he started argument with this person and said, you are wrong. How can you say that it is of, it is from Bible? Actually, it is of Shakespeare's quote. And you are telling it is Bible? And that person replied to Dale Carnegie, No, 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 it is from Bible only. How can you say it is of Shakespeare? No. And these people started arguing with each other and went to Frank Gamet. And Frank was a friend of Dale Carnegie and Frank is the only person who knows everything in and out about Shakespeare quotes. And these people went to Gamet, I mean Mr. Gamet, Frank Gamond and these peer three people were discussing on the table. As Frank, what he did is he just kicked Dale Carnegie under the table and said, Dale, this gentleman is right. It is from Bible only. By listening this, Dale Carnegie was shocked. What? And after occasion, they were returning home. And Dale Carnegie asked, Frank, tell me. Is that quote of Shakespeare's or not? And Frank replied, yes, absolutely. This is a quote of Shakespeare only. And why did you tell that person that gentleman was right? And Frank replied, Dale, what you get if you prove him wrong? What do you get if you embarrass him in front of people? What do you get with this thing? Will you win in some participation or will you win in something or you will get certificate or will that person like you next time no and why did you do that why you want to create him wrong in front of all the people on that day by listening this reply Dale Carnegie has understood and learnt a lesson that lesson is we cannot win an argument and what did I do I made him wrong in front of people. I made an embarrassed situation to this person. Oh my God, what did I do? I did not, I should not do these kind of things. And Dale Carnegie says in this chapter, when you have an argument, a moment of argument is coming in front of you, just postpone that argument. At least you will have some time to do research whether you are wrong or he is right or he is wrong or you are right. You will understand what is right. That is why the principle of this chapter is the only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. The only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. This is all about you can't win an argument. Until then, let me can't send you that. We'll meet again. Stay tuned.